Hola amigos, I am Lorenzo from Broodminder here in Po, southwest of France, close to the Pyrenees. They are really nice, the Pyrenees nowadays. Let me let you show. Uh, yeah, here they are. Yeah, today I want to show you how you can beneficially combine a high scale together with an internal sensor that is measuring brood and how those two things work together much better than separately. So let's go to look at this. I have here one apiary, Bravo, it's on sunflower. This apiary was working. Okay. Now I will add a custom dashboard and I will show the weight and the productivity. Let's call this weight. <coughs> so this is my new custom dashboard and here I have the weight and productivity. What we are seeing is that um, this hive, T2301, moved from one apiary, which is called Alpha, which is this one, to another apiary, which is called Charlie, which is that one. And we see from the weight that there was a nectar flow. And when we look to the productivity much more clearly, we see how the productivity has been increasing over those days. The bars are the daily productivity, 1.5 kilos, and the line is the accumulated productivity from day one here, the starting of the chart, right? So if we take that hive and that example, we are seeing that here we have about 14 kilos of accumulated weight, and I'm assuming that the first super is filled up and I am already considering that I should move to the apiary to add extra supers to all the all of the hives because yeah this is filled up and that's the analysis I am carrying by using a single scale okay um, let's take another case with another hive of that same apiary which is number three Number three has the same progress, let's say, but number three is not going up to 14, it's going up to eight, which is not the same. And by looking at that single scale, I would say, oh, uh, I'm, I'm just having eight kilos. Maybe I have to wait until next week and see how the progress is. And maybe I will add extra supers or not, okay? So two scales, two single scales, and two different analyses of what's going on on the apiary, right? Of course, you cannot put 10 scales on your apiary, that's not affordable, but you can use an internal sensor and that will really change how you do the analysis of this case. So now what we will do is to modify that dashboard and add the brood level that we have also been measuring on that on the on those hives. So I'm going here, the deep dashboard, and I'm looking on this toolbox for the brood, putting the brood here, and simply saving. Now I have the productivity and the brood, right? So now <clears throat> let's do the same analysis on the first hive and on the second hive and see what we, what are the conclusions that we are drawing. In this first hive, um, I am seeing that the brood is super strong. It's about 90% of brood, 95. It's, this hive is the strongest of the apiary and that explains why it was yielding 14 kilos because it's the most stronger of the apiary. So by just having a single scale and a single internal sensor, both combined, I am analyzing that, okay, I've yielded 14 kilos on this hive, but there's no hurry to go to the apiary to add extra supers to every hive there, because this is the only one that is producing that amount of, of honey, right? All the other ones should be below that one. So now that, let's shift to the to hive number three and see what was the case with this one. We said it was only eight kilos and now here we are seeing that the brood 
has gone going down up to 60% and then it recovered a little, right? So this hive had an accident, I guess it requeened over that period and that's why, okay, there was some nectar going in because the foragers were still doing the job but no queen, changing the queen, uh, this hive was busy with some other issues and that's why the yield was lower. And this is how, by just adding an extra internal sensor to the scale, you can measure how is your apiary behaving. And just with a single scale, you don't even need two scales like, like we are doing here, just a single scale and a single brood sensor, and it's already giving you much, much, much more information than the scale alone. So I think you enjoyed this presentation and you have any comments, don't hesitate and remember, every hive counts.